Hello detailer and detailer to be. Today I'm going to show you how to use a dual action polisher. Uh, in short, we call it a DA and it helps you to polish your car easily and effectively. Now, how does the DA actually work? Now, we call it a DA is because it has um, it, it rotates, all right, and it orbits at the same time, all right? So, by rotating and orbit, at, orbiting at the same time, it does not concentrate on one spot, so it does not produce so much heat compared to other polishing machines. Uh, it goes something like this, all right, and uh, when it hits something on the side, it will just spin off and it doesn't stop there and grind continuously, unlike a rotary. So, um, if you compare it to a hand, if you compare it by polishing by hand, this has more correction power and it's much faster and to give you results that you want. Um, it's also very easy to use. Now, even whether you're an experienced detailer or someone that has never used a power tool before, you can just pick one up and jump right straight into detailing. Now, before I show you how to hands-on the DA, let me first explain how to set it up. Now, every unit will come with a backing plate, a spanner, or spanner if you're a Malaysian, Allen key, uh, washers, screws, handles, and the pads are sold separately. Right, so the, the on-off switch is here, and the speed dial is at the back. Right, speed one being the slowest, and six being the fastest. Right, so um, normally we will start by installing the handle. Right, right. You can even you can either do it like this like this or like this it's personal preference i would personally prefer 45 degrees so it gives you the right amount of um, ergonomics and the pressure that you want to you want to you want to exit later uh, all right first put in the washer all right screws goes over like this all right the allen key will fasten it Okay, don't fasten it too tight on one side, alright, um, flip it over, um, fasten the other side first before tighten it on both ends. Alright, you can use this side to give it, um, make it tighter, you can, like this, alright. Okay, there you go. All right, and um, the Allen key, sorry, the spanner will hold this thing in place for you to fix the backing plate onto it. All right, so it holds it like this, and the backing plate. Let's go over. And sponge goes like this. Alright, now that this is done, let's bring shine to life. Now, the model of today will look something like this. Alright, say hello, swirls, holograms, wash warrings, whatever you call it. Yep, whole door is full of it. Alright, and we're going to get this out today. Alright, I'm uh, going to use white polishing pad from Lake Country and our paint restorer 51, which I featured in my previous video. Alright, it's a all in one polish, it polishes and waxes at the same time. So we're going to use this combination to remove the swirls you see just now. Now, um, I will use speed 1 to spread my product first. All right, speed 2 and probably 3 to work it and to remove the, pop and to remove the scratches. Now, uh, I will go in overlapping passes, something like this. All right, down. All right, I will not, I will not be doing like this and like this so I will ensure that I will not miss any gaps in between All right so pay attention to what I do and uh, you find it it's actually very easy to polish out the scratches alright apply the product like this alright just um, roughly four dots it's good enough to work the whole this whole tip panel alright speed one alright 
rest the pad on the paintwork first, then only you start the machine. Alright. Now I'm spreading the polish with at speed one. Alright, now I'm gonna use it going up to speed two and work the product. Alright, come down lightly. Work the side so you don't miss any. Right, um, you want to keep your pads flat most of the time. You don't want to tilt it like this. You want to keep it flat. Right, keep it flat. Like, so that you get even results. Alright, work the product until it's uh, semi-clear. Alright. Um, you see the residues here, don't worry about it. Just get a microfiber and you buff it to clear. There you go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we're all made it, waiting for. All right, swirls, no swirls. Swirls, no swirls. It's just as simple as that. All right, so there you go. The combination of a DA, polishing pad, and our paint restorer will give you results like that. Now, if you like this video, click the like button. And uh, if you want to find out more on detailing stuff, um, remember to subscribe to our channel. And uh, when you're done with the liking and subscribing, grab a unit now and start detailing. Till next time, bye. And uh, the DA 